Hey guys, and welcome to this month's monthly free assets for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. This is for April 2024, and once again, we've got access to five amazing assets free for this month only. You can keep them permanently, but you can only claim them this month. This time around, we've got the Stylized Clay Forest Village Pack, the Ucreate Gothic Cathedral Asset Pack, the Ancient Golem, the Watermills Nature Environment, and the clouds lighting system. So I'm going to be going over covering these and showcasing them and obviously leaving links in the description down below to where you can claim these for yourself as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it, starting with the stylized clay forest village pack. So this is a vibrant pack of 50 plus assets, including meshes, post-process materials and atmospheric effects. So some of the key features of this are there are 42 clay-like props and foliage, including houses, props, trees, flowers, and grass. There's a Toon Outline post-process material, which is a shader that produces a painting-like visual effects. There's global wind parameters that allow all instances of trees and flowers to sway with the wind. There's a light function for the directional light that pans cloud shadows across the entire screen. Particle effects, including wind trails, chimney smoke, and ambient dust a clay landscape material and single layer water material and every master material provides many parameters for tweaking the look of each material instance. So all assets in this feature 2k resolution textures and the textures are made to imitate the look of clay with subtle sculpted detail and fingerprints. So in total there are 4 master materials, 54 material instances and 2 post process materials. There is also 42 static meshes all of which have four LODs generated in engine. So I think this one looks absolutely amazing. If this is the kind of style of game you're going for, then this is absolutely perfect. The quality of these looks really, really good. Next up, we've got Ucreate Gothic Cathedral Asset Pack. So this is a unique modular asset pack with fractal-based decor patterns and engravings with 158 individual meshes in total. I believe I have actually covered this one on the channel before, probably during a sale, but this one is absolutely amazing. So there are three master materials that drive nearly all the material instances. This is for tileable textures, for custom materials, i.e. non-tileable, and also for the landscape. The majority of the materials are based on RGBA masks that blend different tileable textures, adding dirt and wear. This approach reduces the number of high resolution textures needed and also gives you a lot of control over the look of the assets. So this is fully modular, there is a landscape auto material, there's photo scan meshes for two grounds, a fallen stump and five rocks. There's an angle based moss layer which is also interchangeable for snow. There's two distant meshes included for a hill and a snowy mountain. There is Niagara effects of fire and smoke, floating dust particles and local fog. And there's also interior and exterior post process volumes set up for a gradual transition between the two. In total, there are 158 unique meshes, all of which have 1 to 5 LODs. There is 25 materials and 138 material instances, with 411 textures, all of which being 4K or 2K. So again, I think this one looks absolutely fantastic. And now we have the Ancient Golem. And this is a low poly model for your game, which can be used in RPG shooters and other projects. There isn't a lot to say about this one, it's a character, you see what you get. So this is rigged, and it does say it is rigged to the epic skeleton as well, also including IK bones. However, this is not animated. The animation that you're seeing in game is just the free Unreal animation, so it looks like it might just be the mannequin animation, which proves that it is rigged to the epic skeleton, although it doesn't look like it would be. So there is one character. The vertex count of this character is 60,000. 444. There's three materials and material instances with nine textures with the text resolutions being 4k. So again this is a low poly ancient golem character that you can use in your games. It's not animated however it is rigged to the epic skeleton so you can easily add on your own animations there. Next up it is the watermills nature environment. So this features high attention to detail, unique concepts of assets, and high quality assets, it is also game ready and optimized and there is controllable parameters in material instances. There is 80 unique meshes with up to 4 LODs on those meshes. There is 112 materials in material instances with 238 textures 
and the resolutions of those textures being 1K and 2K. There isn't a lot on the page about this one, it is just a very simple but very beautiful looking environment that you can use within your games or any project that you are doing. And finally, last but not least, we have the clouds lighting system. So this is a volumetric clouds dynamic illumination system. So the light sources include a bunch of customizable parameters, these being intensity, color, attenuation, fall off type, those being exponential and inverse square, and many more parameters. All of these parameters are also accessible via blueprints and C++ API and sequencer. The plugin also contains different light source types, these being point light and spotlight. And it's also worth noting the light sources don't cast shadows for now. However, I imagine you probably wouldn't want them to anyway, because casting a shadow probably wouldn't make a visual difference. However, it would make a performance difference. So you'd probably want to have that turned off anyway. So that's fine. But again, they said for now, which means they might be adding it in in the future. This features an easy setup with no external dependencies, unlimited lighting area, a customizable parameters. This is also network replicated and is compatible with any material. There is three blueprint classes in this and four C++ classes. And again, this is network replicated. So I think this looks absolutely fantastic. It adds realistic light sources for 2D clouds or volumetric clouds and it's usable for particle systems where large and cheap light sources are needed, for example, smoke and fog. And with that, I think that'll be this video covering this month's monthly free assets for April 2024, where we've got the stylized clay forest village pack, the Ucreate Gothic Cathedral asset pack, the ancient golem, the watermills nature environment, and the clouds lighting system. I think my favorite one this time around is probably the clouds lighting system, and let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite one is as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful with me just going over it, covering these assets, showcasing them and also reminding you as well that you can claim these assets for free and use them in your games as much as you want. If you did enjoy it, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel out a lot. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.